This is the pile of paint solid that I got out of this five litre bucket of acrylic painting water. It doesn't look like much, but when you think that this is what would be going into the water system, if I had just thrown this bucket of water down the drain, you realize that we're actually potentially doing a lot of harm to the environment if we don't do something about cleaning up after we've used our studio. This is what my bucket of water looked like after a week of painting with acrylics. And so I decided to do some research on how to clean it up before I put it down the drain. I'm going to share that process with you. The first thing you need to do is get some aluminium sulfate and some powdered lime, both of which are available from your local garden centre. First, take 15 grams or approximately three teaspoons full of the aluminium sulfate and mix it in a little bit of the water. These quantities are for a five litre bucket of painting water. Pour the aluminium sulfate mixture into the painting bucket and stir it. Then add 15 grams of the powdered lime to the mixture and you should start to see a change in the water. The paint granules will start to flocculate or clump together in the water and gradually you'll see the water at the top of the bucket clearing and the solids will all start to sink down to the bottom. At this stage you need to take a pH meter or some pH paper and just test the clear water at the top or the almost clear water at the top. You need to get a pH value of 7 to make sure that it's neutral. If it isn't, you need to adjust it either by adding a little bit of the aluminium sulfate or a little bit of the lime until that value becomes 7. Within a few minutes, the water will become almost entirely clear and you can start the filtering process. Use two coffee filters, one inside the other, so you have a double layer of paper within your funnel and pour all of the separated water out into your, through, through the funnel. You'll see that the water that comes out of the bottom is almost entirely clear and that can be safely disposed of down the drain. What you'll be left with by the time you've filtered all of the water is this. This is the solid material that I showed you at the beginning of the video that um, is left in your coffee filter paper. And this can be disposed of either, depending on what paints you've used, it's a cadmium you need to be a little bit careful but mainly this level of paint will be safe to just put in your normal garbage disposal um, and it's far better for the environment to do this which isn't very difficult and doesn't take very much time um, than it is to actually just pour the water down the drain so i hope this earth day you will um, this will have helped you to have a more sustainable art studio if you'd like a written version of this um, process. You'll find it in the, uh, the link in the description below to a blog post on my website where I have actually written out all the steps in this and there are links to the aluminum sulfate and the lime. If you found this video helpful do consider subscribing to my channel and perhaps give it a like. It's really helpful. It helps me to see which content you are finding useful and so I can make some more. In the meantime, enjoy your studio time and happy Earth Day from me.